Thanks for watching my journey through Pokemon Sword. I've been waiting a long time for an original Pokemon console experience, and I'm glad you're here with me. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day. Apparently a goal was to meet him at the station at whatever pace. So I realized that's where I needed to go. It was all the way down and around into the train station. Uh, the next area should be the wild area, which is where we're going to encounter a ton of Pokemon in general. Uh, let me look at this log here. So this is a log of different things to do. I can't add myself to the block list. Ouch. That's disappointing. Uh, I can surprise trade. Okay. Uh, that is actually um, what you'll really want to go for. You can just trade a bunch of random stuff. So basically all the garbage you don't want, you wonder trade it and hope you get something good in return. Unfortunately, a lot of people have a lot of hacked Pokemon in that uh, situation. There's actually people who just dedicate their time to have uh, robotic 3DSs having fake Pokemon go into the system. So it can be surprising when you put a Rattata into the system and then you get a shiny Mewtwo. It's like, oh, okay, sure. So whatever. Let's get Nickit to move everyone else into here. I'll organize everyone by Pokedex soon enough. And hopefully that this system is similar to what it actually will be like for Pokemon Home when that does release. That'd be pretty cool. That's something I'm looking forward to, is being able to see all the different uh, Pokemon in their uh, proper place and whatnot, especially with me trying to go for a complete living dex over time. My name, obviously, is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. Though we are rivals at his fair, I got TM40 Swift. Guarantee you I can teach that to Ravenna. That just seems like a move that that would use there. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe... What am I doing? Um, I, I think that's a move that can be used multiple times on multiple Pokemon. So it's not just a situation where it's just used once like in previous games. Technical machines can be used multiple times. So that's good. Uh, here we go. Into the train station we go. Just going to buy uh, a pass here real quick. Excuse me. Can we just hop the fence or hop the thing just like the MBTA like I do? Well, not that I do that. I, I lied. I'm sorry. No, I've done that only a couple of times where, like, one person scans their ticket and you're running, like, really close behind them. You know, I, I, give, the MB I give the Mass Bay Transit Authority lots of money, all right? It's fine. I got camping gear just on me at all times. So in case I just want to cook s'mores at will, bam, there we go. So that's actually a big mechanic of the game, I guess, is Pokemon Camp, which allows you to uh, interact with Pokemon and can actually cook up a bunch of uh, different curries, which is another big thing, too. Uh, curry allows you to heal up all your team of all status effects and, you know, full health and all that. Um, is there any sort of animation for the train or anything like that? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Um, stuff like that. So... Of course, they're just on their phones the entire time, not socializing like normal people. Uh, so there's all sorts of Pokemon that travel all throughout the region there. Uh, you can set up a base camp wherever you want to to interact with your Pokemon. You can find all sorts of new and old Pokemon in the wild area. And depending on the weather, they actually change what Pokemon are there. I don't believe there is a time of day sort of thing, but that would be pretty cool. Um, this is a wild area station, make no mistake, but I'm sorry to tell you the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the track. Well, isn't it the job of the, you know, massive uh, transit to not have that happen? You know? But, alright, sure, I'm just going to sit next to this random dude in the subway. That's not safe at all. Alright, so, this looks like the, uh, the way to go here. There's a city way up ahead here. That's our next objective marker, and it does have a time of day situation here i believe this is one of two wild areas i don't know let's take a look here so if i go and hit uh x here to the town map uh this is all one wild area here i think it's up here as well is this a wild area no no it's just the one okay cool so i think the game is pretty linear other than this stuff right here so uh yeah this is where we're gonna find all sorts of pokemon who knows what uh, secrets shall be held I don't know. I just work here. That motor soak way off that way. Yep.
That's right. And between there are countless new Pokemon waiting to be something. Hello, Sonya. Who we met in the, uh, the, the previous area there. Uh, um, but what are you doing with life? That sounds rough. Ouch. Yeah. A anytime you got to question what you're doing in life, you know it's going to be a rough night. You know, when you, when you just, like, try to figure out what existence is. You know what existence is? Donuts and ice cream. That's what existence is. You go and get a nice big carton of Ben and Jerry's and just sit down and cry. That's what you do on Valentine's Day. That's what I'll be doing on Valentine's Day. Actually, no, I'll be uh, seeing the Sonic movie. <laughs> That's when uh, the game... The, the game. Well, maybe a game eventually. But, uh, oh... That actually allows me to access the box whenever I want to. Except for some places, I think just gyms. But I can go see the Sonic movie on Valentine's Day. That's when it releases. So get excited, kids. If you're single, go see Sonic and just eat ice cream. There you go. All right. It's not just kids. Whoever's watching, all right? You know, make a, make a date night out of it. Whatever you want to do. All right. So enough about that. We can now rotate the camera freely around here. There's an onyx. There's all sorts of stuff around here. All sorts of Pokemon. It's raining. Uh, it's a large note. The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. Try battling one, and it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run. Run like the wind. So we won't necessarily be able to encounter and capture this onyx here. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to capture this onyx. I guarantee you, you encountered a very strong-looking onyx. Now, there's no level cap here uh so that is a level 26 onyx now could we actually capture it like realistically maybe just maybe but it won't actually allow you wow that was that was easy that was easy for onyx i should say not for me i'm gonna run actually thank you uh yeah you're gonna want to avoid the strong pokemon like that not necessary don't do that uh they are gonna then go away uh, that was actually kind of a lot. All right, so why don't I uh, heal up uh, uh, Pepperono here real quick. Revive. Please get back up. Thank you. Okay. And potion you. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. We're back on the same page. Great. So, uh, yeah, don't encounter Pokemon like that. There's all sorts of stuff there. Bunnelby, Wingo, you know, Pokemon that we are very familiar with. Uh, these are Pokemon dens where those um, Gigantamax battles will, ha will happen. Dynamax Pokemon, I should say. Uh, let's see. So, it's a bit of energy trickling out of the den. We got those Watts. I believe those can be used for upgrades and stuff eventually. So, whenever we see one of those, we're going to want to encounter them. Is this a trainer that wants to battle me? No. Okay, love to cook. You've come to the right place. Oh, there's some stuff here. Ooh, brittle bones. That sounds appetizing. Uh, why don't I just eat brittle bones? Uh, fried food. That's my favorite. Uh, instant noodles. That's pretty good. Pasta. Mama sauce. Gonna be really good in this game, let me tell you. All right, nothing right here. Just come back and visit tomorrow if we wanted to. Um, not seeing any Pokemon that I either A, don't already have or want. That's the Bunnelby evolution there. So, I found another note. Use the right... Oh, basically, it's controls is what they're doing it's a cheeky way of them doing controls i see so yeah I, i'm not going to encounter a lot of these pokemon just because i uh, you know a lot of them you may have seen before or be familiar with uh let's go to one of these dens here let's see what these are all about i gained 300 watt nice okay defeat a dynamax pokemon you'll get a chance to catch it okay uh that is a bond supply uh, i am going to invite others which i don't know what that means Oh, it's going to invite other trainers. Interesting. So hopefully other people are going to be playing at 2.07 in the morning, the night this game releases. I'm assuming so. So the battle ends when Pokemon faint four times, or the battle lasts for ten turns. So uh, how well could this possibly go? I have no idea. Should I just go for it and see what happens just to show the idea of it? You know what? Why not? Let's just go for it. Uh, we'll find some others to help you out. Is that okay? Oh, okay. I think it's actually just going to implement some NPCs. So, that's good. It's not necessarily just a solo outing here. You have some people to help, so that's good. Will they be the most comprehensive? Oh, wow, that's loud. Uh, will they be the most helpful? I don't know. But there we go. So, you're basically all working together 
to help each other out here. So I can Dynamax my uh, Score Bunny eventually here. Or I can do it right now if I really wanted to. Uh, I will go with the Double Kick for right now. I'm not going to activate Dynamax immediately. And, okay, that is super effective. Excellent. And that's a uh, that Double Kick there. One. And uh, two. So I think we're easily going to win this battle here. Uh, yeah, especially if I Dynamax here. Yeah, this is going to be very easy here. Uh, especially with a uh, Snorlax there. Oh, that's a big wall. Tremendous wall. Massive wall. Wishy-washy is gonzo. Eliminated from existence. That wishy-washy is uh, gone. Gone. Wow. All right. Looks like uh, I should use my uh, Dynamax now because... Yeah, otherwise, I think we're all going to die. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I, I can Dynamax now. Let's... Oh! Oh, did someone else use it? Oh, okay. I think so. Hydro Pump was avoided. So, that's just great. Okay. There's the double... Did, did Snorlax Gigan Gigantamax Dynamax? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't aim for me! Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now, why can't I use Dynamax? Did someone else use it? I thought that was a thing. Oh! Patricia's Pokemon recovered from something. Oh! Wishy Washy returns from the grave! Janet can Dynamax now. What about me? Oh, I could before, but I, now I can't. That's kind of dumb. All right, whatever. All right. Well, Hydro Pump lands, thankfully. Um, I don't know if we're going to win this. I can't tell. I feel like if I Dynamax, it'd be a lot easier. The Dynamaxing does a lot more damage, like a ton. So, you know, it's helpful that all these moves are super effective against the Bonsly. And what does that do? Bonsly nullified its stat change. And Bonsly used Mimic against me. Oh, it learned Double Kick. Okay. So at least it doesn't do Double Kick to me. Not that I think that would matter. And, okay, it recovered from fainting. Excellent. Okay, so Pokemon can just rise back from the grave. Okay. That's excellent. All right, so I'm close to Dynamaxing. I don't know if that'll come down to it. It just might. But, okay, that Hydro Pump does a lot. Who would have thought a Magikarp would actually know Hydro Pump? Really shouldn't. But at this rate, I'm not going to question it. Yeah, it looks like we got this in the bag. Even if everyone dies, I think we're fine. Wow, Brian did a lot of damage. That's a, that's a spicy meatball there. And that uh, nullified the stat changes once again. Use Flail on Snorlax. Rest in Pepperoni Snorlax. Donzo out E5000. Uh, the storm is getting too strong to withstand. Basically, that means uh, the battle is going to end soon, I'm assuming. So... Yeah. Um, I guess now my Dynamax... Okay, so now it's ready. So let's just say, hypothetically, I did it, right? Max Knuckle? Max Flare? I'll go Max Flare. Why not, right? Let's see what happens. So I really should have activated it on the first turn. I thought I could activate it, like, a couple turns afterward, but... All right, so whenever I have it available, I'll just use it. But it's only for three turns, so... And only one of my Pokemon can be Dynamax at a time on the field, so... There you go. It's basically <laughs> what the score bunny sounds like. And not that I needed it, cause Bonsai is gone. Cool. Bonsai is weak. Throw a Pokeball. Oh boy. I'm going to catch it. Let's go. You only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once within this episode. Here we go. Let's get him inside my big red ball, Bonsly. Uno. That's a that's a big animation. Dos. Ta 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 tres. And captured. Bada bang. There it goes. Bonsly obviously evolves into Sudowoodo, a very cool Pokemon. Not one that I think I'm gonna use. But we get XP candies in extra small, regular Dynamax candy, one Grape of Berry, Stardust, and Star Piece. Those can all be traded in for big money. 
and most and more importantly, no whammies. It expels both sweat and tears from its eyes. So that's what I do too. The sweat is a little salty while the tears have a slight bitterness. Do you drink the tears? Is it a delicacy? Is that a thing that happens? I don't know. I don't drink my own tears because that'd be kind of terrifying. Yeah, that'd be kind of gross too. You know, it's just unsanitary. Uh, it looks like I could do this one too. I want to just do this. I feel like I'm going to spend like an episode or two going through... Oh, that's a bug? I don't want a bug. Uh, no. I'm going to just encounter, like, cool Pokemon. You know, hopefully I can capture a few more Pokemon in the wild area. But I'm more concerned about the Watts and stuff. The Watts, I believe, lead to upgrades, like I said before. So I'm just going to explore around here. Ooh, Haunter. Ooh, do I want a Haunter? Oh, I have a Gengar. I have, like, six Gengar, I feel like. I've had, like, Gengar throughout multiple playthroughs of games in general. There's a Butterfree. So it's not just, uh, you know, like level two or second gen or second, t you know, if there's three evolutions, there's Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar. There can be Haunter in the wild and there can be Gengar level stuff too. So it's not just weak Pokemon that are in the wild area. You can encounter very strong Pokemon. So don't uh, underestimate that there. And it looks like, yeah, we can just kind of walk around and explore I feel like there's going to be a lot of time spent in the wild area in general you know lots of wingo uh, that's a pigeon from gen 5 that I don't really care for Gulliver okay gen 5 I have no affinity for I actually never played black and white or black and white 2 so I have uh, no bias toward those whatsoever that's a Thai Rouge which can evolve into Hitmonlee Hitmonchan and something else I'm gonna get one of you I don't believe I have this Pokemon in general so that's cool yeah I'm definitely gonna play a lot of the wild area here probably yeah th definitely the rest of this episode but I'll, I'll probably do one more Gigantamax battle and then uh, get out of here so we'll see hit two times. I'm not going to use Tyrouge or Tyrogue. I just want to have one for the sake of having one. And I'm assuming all these Pokemon here you can encounter again at some point. I don't know why I went to, into bag. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, what you want to have on your team right now. Uh, I've never been too big of a fan of Hitmonlee and Chan and all them, but that's alright. Go for another Pokeball. I think all these Pokemon have decent capture odds as well this early in the game, so I'm not quite concerned about not capturing something, uh, except for right there, first one out of the Pokeball. So I don't think there's much else I can do, though, to help with the situation. I mean, it's pretty low on health as it is. If I go any lower, I mean, I could bring out Ravana. Ra Ravana? Ravan Ravana? Rav Ravana? I haven't decided. But Re I'm going to say Ravana. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, you know, Ravenna would just lose health, and it's not a good situation. Bonslide was level 19. So that is officially the highest level Pokemon we have on our team. No name bestowed to Tyroge. Rug, but whatever. So let's see. If I go to the box here, there's the camp uh, options. The bag key items. Okay, the box. You can't use the boxes from your bag. What if I press that can I use it now no can I use it now no can I use it now oh I guess not all right whatever that's fine I I don't know hey I just got the game tonight all right I don't know everything I'm gonna figure things out as it goes uh, that is a Rosalia I've gotten one of those before Rosa raid very powerful Pokemon but I have used it in Gen 4 before. I definitely want to use newer Pokemon. You don't want to keep with the same stuff every single time, you know. You want to keep it interesting in general. At least, you know, I want to keep it interesting for all of you. If I use all the same Pokemon that I've done before, that's no fun, you know. And speaking of Pokemon that I've used before, that's a Cleffa. That's uh, more Wingull everywhere. Um, I have... Um, not seen that yeah that's like oh that's a pancham actually oh they're so cute pancham oh you're so adorable uh, i have used pangoro pangoro is great but they actually do not have my favorite pokemon in this game uh piplup and empoleon the whole entire piplup line is not available so uh i am heartbroken of course but 
Tis the nature of the game in general. I guess maybe I will make my way out of here because it's kind of looking that way. Nuzleaf right there evolves in a shift tree. Great Pokemon as well. Uh, lots of little hidden items around here. Fancy apples. Okay. I'm not really reading through stuff in general, but you know. Stuff does stuff, you know. Uh, that is a hoot hoot. La 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 hoot hoot. That we've definitely seen before in Pokemon Soul Silver. So, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, let me find one more. Uh oh, that's a random battle. Oddish. I've seen Oddish about 7,000 times. We know how this is gonna go, alright? It's it's no no problemo. Alright, we're just gonna run from that. Because why not? We could ember it into one shot destroyed, but that would be too easy. Alright. Where is there another den, dude? I want to find one more live den just to do it. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a big boy. That's a big boy we can't uh, face off against right now. That guy will knock you into next Tuesday. That's what that Pokemon will do right there. So there's, see, there's a shift tree right there. So you can't encounter like the third evolutionary line of Pokemon uh, all around here. There's Ghastly, Duskull, which Dusk Noir is a great Pokemon. Delibird, oh, that's cool. I want a Delibird to celebrate Christmas time. It's beginning, ooh, it's a very strong Delibird. We might actually not be able to get this Delibird here. Uh, let's see how, uh, oh, 28. So if I try to capture it, right, you can't throw a Pokeball, it won't let its guard down. So you literally cannot capture it in general. Uh, you can probably face off against it to, oh, wow. That was easy. I'm gonna run real bad. There we go. Man, Delibird doesn't mess around. All right, geez. I thought I could at least try to face off against it, but clearly not. All right, so that's a uh, Drift Blim. Uh, more Duskull, Drifloom over here. You know, this. I really wanted to get to this Max Raid, but or Dynamax. You know, it's you know the, the Den. I wanted to get to the Den, and luckily that Max Revive comes in handy right here. I'm actually going to use that uh, on Score Bunny, just so I can go into this raid, uh, knowing what I'm doing. You feel? So let's do this. Pepperono is alive once again, rising from the ashes, just like a phoenix would. What do I got? It's a Drifloon. Ah, no. Drifloon. I have... I'm trying to, like, figure out, like, what I have in Pokemon Go and what I want to get in this game. So, a lot of Pokemon that I've seen so far... Ooh. Vanillish. I do not have a Vanillish in general. Because uh, Gen 5, again, not... Uh, did never played Gen 5. So, I, I had a I had a good... Oh, yeah. So, I'm not going to use this Pokemon. But I'm just going to capture it and give it a name. Because I'm a very big advocate for Ben and Jerry's. So I'm going to capture uh, two of these eventually. Because I'm going to need to capture two. To have uh, Vanillish, Vanillite and Vanillux. I believe those are the main two evolutions there. So obviously one needs to be called Ben. One needs to be called Jerry. So there you go. I thought about calling it fish food or something like that. But it's funny. Actually, when this generation came out, I used this as an example for how... Pokemon was lacking in ideas, which eh, you could argue, you know, you're, you're, making, you're making an ice cream cone, you know what I mean? It's not very creative, but it's also the same generation where they made pretty much a pigeon and they pretty much made a pile of garbage. So there was a lot of questionable decisions, in my opinion, for uh, the Pokemon franchise at that point. But, you know, it is what it is. One, two, and then Tartares and Cha-Ching. There we go. So, uh, let's see if this is a male, uh, uh, you know, Vanillite. Not that it matters. Like I call it Ben. I'll call it Belinda. Whatever it is. All right. So, I would like to give it a nickname. Uh, this is a female. So, I'm just going to go with Belinda. Wait, Ben? It, what would be the female version of Ben? B no, it would be Belinda, right? Yeah, I think that I think that works. You know, I think that is fine. And then what would it be for Jenny? Oh, or Jerry. It'd be Jenny. So Belinda and Jenny <laughs> instead of Ben and Jerry. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. All right. There you go. There's Vanilla captured. Uh, that is a... I don't know what that is. I don't have it, though. But let me prioritize on uh, the Max Raid battle here. 
Watts acquired. Oh, one of those. Yeah, all right. That's not interesting, though. Not to me, at least. So you can already see in the different areas that we went to. There's already so many different types of Pokemon that we've encountered. So get those Watt. Uh, that is a... I don't know what that is, actually. Let's uh, invite others. And presumably, uh, there's no one who's going to show up. I'm just going to start the battle. Yep, I know. So I'm going to have the NPCs work out. I'm going to Gigantamax immediately and see what happens. I don't know what Pokemon this is. I couldn't tell by the uh, pixel art here. That is a Whooper! 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 All right, cool. Whoopa! Hey, <laughs> whoopa! Alrighty. All right, so I'm gonna fight Dynamax immediately. Uh, Max Knuckle, give him the knuckle. Give him that knuckle punch. Ka ka ka! Boom! Boom! See, I'm punching you. Boom! The T K O. Oh, oh, there it is. All right. Yum 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 yum. That to me is what all the Gigantamax Pokemon oh. sound like. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> All right. So maybe um, the mechanic works out a bit better if you have uh, multiple people that are normal human beings playing, and they, they might change off the, you know, the Dynamax, or you, you kind of discuss it, maybe. Hopefully I can get some friends of mine to actually help out with the Gigantamax battles for raids and whatnot. That did not do a lot of damage at all. Wow. Okay. So the attack rose. Oh, the allies attack rose. Max Quake. Oh, that's going to be some big damage to everyone, actually. Uh, Salandit is Gonzo. Rest in pepperoni. I thought that would have attacked everyone, but that was a very uh, organized attack there. It was just the one. So, all right. And the storm above you grows stronger. Ow. Brick Break. You know, my attack did as much damage as that regular brick break, brick break there. Uh, let's go with... Uh, okay. It doesn't say... Uh, it says power, but... Let's just go with max strike, you know? Let's just go for it. Uh, Wooper is a ground and water type, so my moves are not necessarily as effective. If I had Grookey, that might be a different story. But... Uh, that did a little bit more damage, so that's good. And it looks like if I do one more of those, then we'll be in some business here. Uh, Bind does nothing. What was that? Dean's throw? Or that's a max strike there. Uh-oh. What's that called? Not throw. One of them's called throw. I forget what the other one's called. They're like a Burton and Ernie type of situation there. Like, they kind of look similar. I forget. You're ready to Dynamax. Mr. Um, Kanye West over here, chilling. All right. So yeah, this whooper is no problem. No problemo. And I already have a whooper, of course. Of course, I got a whooper. So that's not the uh, main situation for for doing this. I just didn't realize what it was. And there you go. So you can also opt to not capture the Pokemon, but why wouldn't you? You know, you get one shot here. I think you get one shot. You know. And ideally, this is going to be a higher level whooper in general. So, that's cool. And get inside my ball. Yum, yum, yum. One. Shake. Shake him up. Shake him up. Two. Shake him up. Shake him up. Shake, shake, shake. Three. Shake it. Shake your booty. Shake. Yep. Hey, there it is. And there you go. Whooper is captured. Loves in a quagsire, which is a, a very derpy looking Pokemon. Got some good stuff uh, there, but there you go. And now it's just all cute and cuddly and small. So no nickname for Whooper, that's totally fine. So we got the Watts, we got the other stuff too. Uh, what I might end up doing is just uh, exploring around here, getting the rest of the Watts, because basically the entrance to where we need to go, if I'm not mistaken, is right over here. So all the rest of these beams over here, I'm not gonna challenge the Gigantamax uh, forms, but I'm gonna go and grab the Watts. I think they respawn every once in a while. So, uh, I'm just going to grab everything and see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, there's another note there. Wild Air is overflowing with a special sort of energy called Watts. You can gather Watts uh, yourself. Okay, you also find trainers in the Wild Area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you just give them some of your Watts. Interesting. So, 
Let me go find some more of these watts and do other things before we head off to the main city where we're supposed to those uh, pearly gates over there. So, I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it up. And me as always, that's a hoot hoot, which obviously we don't need to face. Uh, I'll talk to you again next time for more uh, Pokemon Sword on the Nintendo Switch. But until then, have a fantastic day. Get some sleep. Rest up, get some water, go outside, and especially meow it out as always. Peace out. Bye.